Which nation holds the technological edge? And who would emerge victorious in an unforgiving dogfight? Welcome to Defense Firepower. Today, we pit the F-22 Raptor against the Su-57 Felon in the ultimate showdown, dissecting their strengths, weaknesses, and the doctrines that define them. Born in the Cold War's final years, the F-22 Raptor, first flown in 1997 and fielded in 2005, embodies America's first look, first shot, first kill doctrine. Designed purely for air superiority, it prioritizes stealth, speed, and situational awareness, with every feature crafted to evade enemy radar. In contrast, Russia's Su-57 Felon, which debuted in 2010, follows a different path. While it incorporates stealth, its design favors a multi-role approach, combining air dominance with powerful ground and maritime strike abilities, backed by extreme agility and brute force. When it comes to stealth, the F-22 Raptor sets the gold standard, boasting an incredibly low radar cross-section of around 0.0001 square meters. Its meticulous design, including two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles, ensures it's exceptionally hard to detect from any angle. The Su-57 Felon's stealth, however, remains controversial, with an estimated RCS of 0.3 square meters. Its design, featuring more traditional air intakes and initial three-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles, compromises its low observability, particularly from the side and rear, Though Russia is testing 2D nozzles to address this gap, both jets are equipped with advanced AESA radars, F-22's APG-77 versus Heaven 22s Su-57's NO-36, Bielka, and integrate IRST systems and sophisticated electronic warfare suites for superior situational awareness. Powering the F-22 are two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW-100 turbofan engines, each generating a formidable 35,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner, for a combined total of 70,000 pounds. This immense power allows the Raptor to achieve speeds in excess of Mach 2.25. Crucially, the F-22 is renowned for its supercruise capability, able to sustain speeds over Mach 1.5 without relying on fuel-guzzling afterburners significantly extending its combat range of 1, 850-plus miles, ferry, and tactical flexibility. Its thrust-to-weight ratio is approximately 1.0. The Su-57 is currently powered by Saturn AL 41F1 engines, each delivering around 31,960 pounds of thrust with afterburner. While powerful, its initial production models lack the sustained supercruise capability of the F-22. However, the future holds the promise of the Izdalai 30 AL-51F1 engines, which are expected to push thrust to nearly 37,500 pounds per engine, potentially enabling true supercruise at Mach 1.3 and boosting its already impressive service ceiling of 65,617 feet compared to F-22's 50,000 plus feet. Its current top speed is around Mach 2.0, with some claims of Mach 2.45. The Felon's thrust-to-weight ratio stands at approximately 1.09 at normal takeoff weight. In a close-quarters dogfight, raw agility reigns supreme. The F-22's legendary maneuverability is attributed to its powerful F-119 engines combined with its unique two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles. These nozzles can pivot 20 degrees up or down, allowing the Raptor to perform incredible high angle of attack maneuvers and change direction with astonishing speed. Even at low speeds where traditional control surfaces lose effectiveness, this automated system allows pilots to focus on the fight, giving them a distinct advantage in a turning battle. The Su-57 is also a highly agile aircraft, boasting a blended wing body design and its three-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles on the AL-41F1 allowing for exceptional post-stall maneuvers and high angles of attack exceeding 60 degrees, with a maximum load of 9 Gs. Russian fighter design traditionally prioritizes raw kinematic performance, and the Felon continues this lineage, designed to outmaneuver opponents in a close-range engagement. 
The integration of the new two-dimensional nozzles on the ISDAL I-30 aims to retain this agility while improving stealth. Both fighters utilize internal weapons bays to maintain their stealth profiles. The F-22 features one main bay and two smaller side bays. Its typical air-to-air -air loadout consists of six AIM-120 AMRAAM radar-guided missiles in the main bay and two AIM-9 Sidewinder infrared missiles in the side bays. For air-to-ground missions, it can carry two 1,000-pound GBU-32 JDAMs or eight 250-pound GBU-39 small-diameter bombs alongside its air-to-air -air complement. It also retains a 20mm M61, a two-Vulcan cannon for close-in work. The Su-57 is designed with two main internal weapons bays within its fuselage, along with two smaller bays near the engine nacelles. It boasts a diverse arsenal, including R-77M active radar-guided missiles for long-range engagements, R-74M two infrared-guided missiles for dogfighting, and the formidable R-37 very long-range air-to-air -air missile with a 400 kilometers range. For air-to-ground, it carries K-38M and K-59 MK-2 stealth cruise missiles, along with guided bombs. Notably, some reports suggest compatibility with the hypersonic KH-47M2 Kinzhal missile in specific configurations, although this remains limited. It's armed with a 30 millimeters. Here's where reality truly sets in. The F-22 program was famously cut short due to its high cost and changing strategic priorities post-Cold War. Only 195 Raptors were produced in total, with 183 remaining operational. Each F-22 had an average unit procurement cost of around $185.7 million, reaching an adjusted inflation price of $350 million per aircraft due to the limited production run. Its production line closed in 2012, and restarting it is virtually impossible without enormous cost. The Su-57, despite its first flight in 2010, has faced protracted development, funding issues, and international sanctions. Russia initially ordered 76 aircraft, but as of early 2025, only a handful to possibly a dozen are reportedly in active service. The program has been plagued by delays, and even the first production aircraft crashed in 2020. While its estimated unit cost of $35 to $50 million might seem lower than Western counterparts, this doesn't fully account for the true cost of R&D and operational sustainment under sanctions. The limited numbers severely impact Russia's ability to project fifth-generation air power on a large scale, especially when compared to the U.S. fleet of 183 F-22s and over 1,000 F-35s. So, who wins the ultimate showdown? The F-22 Raptor generally dominates as the superior air superiority fighter, thanks to its unparalleled stealth and first-look, first-shot doctrine, giving it a critical edge in beyond visual range engagements. The Su-57, while highly maneuverable and heavily armed, has a compromised stealth profile, making it vulnerable to early detection by the F-22. However, in a close-range dogfight, the felon's extreme agility and 3D thrust vectoring could pose a serious threat. Ultimately, the outcome depends not just on the jet, but on the pilot's skill and the strength of the supporting battle network. So, Fighter Nation, after this comparison, who do you think truly reigns supreme in the skies? Drop your verdict in the comments below. If you found this breakdown illuminating, please like, share, and subscribe to Defense Firepower for more real-world military analysis. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss our next deep dive. Stay locked and loaded.